So this is the board we're going to be building today. This is an in-stock keyboard from Key Spensary. Um, or you can buy it from Key Spensary, right? But it's kind of cool because it has removable blockers. Um, I was supposed to build this a little earlier, but uh, we got it now, so hooray. Yes, by CMM Studios. If you guys don't know them, it's, they're also the ones who made Sokka. So, yes. Cute. Okay, let's open that. <clears throat> Show them a picture for what? The artisan pictures? Oh my god, you guys can see my Twitter. Holy. That's not good. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not good. So I got... I got my keyboard back in case you guys didn't notice me typing on it <clears throat> i did get it back okay <clears throat> hi justin the keyboard oh no here yet i'm glad you liked it <laughs> okay so this is the isabel we'll open it I already opened it earlier, but we'll show you. I'll sh we'll open it again. So we're gonna be using alu plate. It is hot swap. Ooh. So it comes with like the feet and the little screw you need. Lots of layers. So here's the PCB. You don't look at the PCB. Let's look at it after. Another layer. It's kind of fancy because these layers are like velvet. <laughs> So here's the foam, the PE stuff, all of that. Well, here's you like it, true. Okay, so here is the board itself, right here. So this is the purple color, and these blockers are removable. Pretty cute. It comes in uh, four different colors. So you have black, E white, a burgundy, and a purple, and this is the purple right and then this this is actually for battery i asked like what this was for and they said it was a battery and i asked if it would interfere and they said it wouldn't interesting right so here is the side profile and it's it's cool because you can see the little sliver right here the sliver goes all around the case. And then if you look up here, it says Isabel. It is a lower USB port that is on the left hand side. You got a little Isabel right there. Cute. I think you would have to get a Bluetooth PCB, but they have it in there in case you do decide to do that. Right? But the PCB is QMK via compatible bot swap. We can look at that. Hi, Emo. Happy July to everyone. Hello, Just One. Okay. So here is the PCB. So that's cute. Key Spensary. We sell Keeb. Right here. We sell Keeb. This is designed by Frother. He's in chat. Mr. Feather. So you can do regular step caps. You could do 7U, 6.25, um, full, right shift, or split. Um, looks like you could do split backspace as well. So you do have a couple different layout options with this hot swap board. Feather's pretty cute. The feather's so funny. Okay, yeah, give me the JSON. And then it does have two flex cuts. So a bigger one up here and then one right here. So let's see. So if you look at the back, so there is a physical reset button. And there's also LEDs. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but there are LEDs in this board. Okay, but yep. That's the PCB. Cute. 
cute. I feel like Kapo is running, rubbing off on me. <laughs> Everything is just cute. <laughs> Hi, Kinker, what's up? But yep, that is the board we're building today. Okay, let's see. So let me take this. <laughs> Vinsanity. I need to make that into a timer too, so I will do that as well. You guys want to hear something funny? Uh, I was talking to the stream element coordinator uh, for Factor and he told me that one of his friends sent him the clip of me the one where I was talking about rigging artisan raffles <clears throat> and how you shouldn't send photos of your feet out for free and I, I my stomach kind of dropped because I was like oh. <laughs> like this guy hasn't even like worked with me yet and the first impression he gets from me is I believe you should not sell feet pics for free though Mari thinks I'll follow <laughs> so I was just like oh shit <laughs> He was like, yeah, actually, one of my friends sent me a clip. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've talked to this streamer before. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, please, no. <laughs> Ooh, the board just, like, farted. Are you okay, board? Also, I did have food right here. No free feet. Oh, can we say happy birthday to Kim? Happy birthday, Kim. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> That's better than your first impression of you think it's just selfie for free. True. Okay. Happy birthday. Everyone say happy birthday. Or else. I don't know what that means, but happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. I wish we still had chance. Same. Okay. So today we're gonna be... Oh, wait. Okay. Enable it only for server one. Wait, should I use owl styles or should I use TX? Maybe I'll just use TX. I like TX. Uh, I only have winky list. That's, that's fine. <laughs> and a pretty chilly, nice. Well, if you guys didn't know, Kim also streams. So, please check out her stream. Do our shoutouts work today? Nice. <laughs> I 
Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do some. Wait, what did what did Tim and Alex do? I'll do something different. Did they do full blocker? The one blocker off? You guys remember? Is it too chaotic if I take just one off? Tim did both. I'm I'm kind of tempted to do the one blocker off. Oh, please don't have a <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. You guys are lucky. Brother said please and no. If you guys didn't know, I'm actually sponsored by Key Spencery. Mm hmm. If you buy from their store, you can use code XXW. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I'm gonna do split backspace because I'm lazy. Hi, two ham. Actually, I don't like I don't like split backspace. <laughs> Which one do I dislike more, doing stabilizers or split backspace? Okay, we'll do it like this. How are you doing, Ham? You love doing stab. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I have something to follow you. <laughs> yeah, I am doing well. Um, today we're building the board by uh, Key Spency. And then tomorrow we're building the board by Wu Che. And then Sunday we're gonna be building Soy's board, which is the uh blooming. Oh my god! What happened? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Gone. Just like that. Power review. <laughs> Okay. Also, if you guys haven't already, it's um Alvin's 2K follower celebration stream. I am Alvin, so please go check him out. Um Yes, he's streaming right now, so please go say hi to him if you haven't already. Lots of giveaways, lots of fun. I will be there right after this, so. I thought you, I thought you were what, Elvin? I'm not Elvin. What's a look? I cleaned this using apple cider vinegar. Wow. My block is actually clean, but smells like vinegar. <laughs> also, it's kind of nice, like, being able to see my entire That's great. Very nice. I like it. Would recommend a big desk. You know, before I bought this desk, I was thinking, like, do I really need that much, like, up like this am i really gonna use all that and the answer is yep yep i definitely <laughs> am using all of that yes i i used ketchup and then ketchup wasn't quite strong enough so i was like okay i'm gonna use vinegar so i did So many artisans. Did you guys see uh, Ryan's story? Ketchup? Yeah. 
because ketchup is slight is acidic, right? And so you can use it to remove patina. And so yeah, if you're trying to reuse patina but you don't want to use like vinegar, which is a lot stronger, you can use ketchup, which is not a not as harsh to remove it. Something right here. Thanks for the follow. Oh yes, my dust does go up and down. Look, I'll show you guys. Look. <laughs> my special order. So if you guys don't know the story of the chicken coop, essentially I went to Ryan's stream and he was showing off his new nerd nest and I was like, oh, that's cool. But I need a 20 by 20 one. <laughs> so he has it in California with him right now. So he'll ship it over to me soon. But... Yeah, he was showing off his like new color and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a like extra long one. This was back in February. You don't have 400 artisans, do you? I don't know. How are the artisans attached to the case? Yeah, so I can open it and show you, but it is attached, it looks like to the top case. Here, we'll take it off and I'll show you. That's a good question. I should have showcased that. I just went straight into stabilizers. So I asked Kiwi, like, hey, why why the um, removable blockers? And apparently it's like the new popular trending thing. So, I mean, it it is a, it is, it makes sense, right? Well, there you have it, yeah. So these are on pretty tight. So for the base price is, um, this is 239. Just that it has a seam, yeah. So that, that was something that I noticed when I first saw the board, because I saw the blockers and I was like, oh, what is that seam right there? And then Kiwi told me like, oh, it's removable. So yeah, the seam is definitely there. And this is an in-stock board, so if you do decide to buy it, I'm pretty sure my code works. XXW, as per usual. These are some really long screws. They're tight. I'm craving cocoa cane. Someone bring me cocoa cane. I need Yugs to bring me some. Oh, yeah, it's coconut sugar cane. <laughs> Some of the screws are on really tight, but... Did anyone watch, um, Alex's bear build? Was it good? The purple looks like a you purple, is it? Hi, CG. 
You only watched apiaries, I see. It looked and sounded nice. It was super good. Dang, okay. I was telling chat this yesterday, but it's like a completely new board. They changed a lot of the internals, so it's definitely not the same. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so on the top, you can see there are two screws holding it together. camera Ooh. it's like hot in here can't get rid of the lasagnas <laughs> okay so this is the seam that we were talking about so you can see like it does it's not Continuous. Well, that's okay. This one's nice because if you ever want to change your layout, you have the option too. But yep, that is how. It is on the top. Oh wait. I have to put this back. I really wanted to give Keaton another Alice to take, but I don't have another Alice at the moment. I realized that. We go on to stabilizers. <sighs> no Alice? I mean, I might bear, but I don't have an extra one. Oh, Lord. Okay, what is second? You miss being here on stream, feeling more relaxed. Might be good. It's just that you should finish up your holy pandas. Oh my god, lubing. So I am in the process of making a video on how I wire balance, but um, I was going to film that today with Keaton, but I forgot I had like sponsorship, sponsor meetings, so I could not record today. Pop, 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 pop. Oh. Must be nice, yep. I haven't seen him in a, in a while, so it was nice. The blockers being screwed in the top case is really interesting. Yeah, so apparently this is like a new trend that's happening where removable blockers are a thing, so... For this, you'd only seen detachable blocker implements that go through the plate PCB. See, this is my first removable blocker board. So, I've actually, I haven't seen anything like this before. But, apparently it's a thing. I do feel like 
there's a lot of boards that I haven't seen. There's this one really weird mounting system that's basically like, uh, I think it was Tim who built it, but it was just like, like rubber, like O-rings, like multiple O-rings that kind of look like a trampoline. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's a lot of things that I I haven't seen personally. I've I've like heard of them. Oh, I was like, you're eating Vince Kiwi Yeggs and Twenty V. Dang. <laughs> I was like, dang. Did we switch? Yeah, we did. I want I want to use TX. Yeah, I, I was I was like a little confused too. Tell my said hi. I'm sorry I didn't start earlier. I like stood up, I was like me tired, so I went and took a nap. I see the bottom of the keyboard since there's no picks. Uh, yeah, for sure. So here's the bottom, and one thing that okay, so this is this is like really this is really weird, but I like that there's nothing on the bottom because you can get it engraved and not have to worry about anything blocking it, right? So this is a side profile. And this is the back. And yeah, I just I just love that there's nothing on the back. It's completely clean. And so you can totally get like a laser engraved, like get it laser engraved or whatever you want on there. You love that? Me too. Mm -hmm. I am working a lot with like content creators and that's like one of the biggest things is that they want like engravings on their boards to make it like truly custom. And one of the things I struggle with is finding boards with really clean backs because, you know, there's always like a logo or something blocking it and there's not, there's never any boards that are just clean slate. So I do like that a lot. And that's the back. I like the way that this board has the name of it or it has it on the side right here. It's very subtle. So you can see the name of the board, Isabel, right by the USB port. Super subtle, like perfect. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully that helped you out. Isabel, true. <laughs> uh, where is my loop? Right here. Also, do you guys want to watch this clip with me? It's so funny because like, anytime I see a board that has like a girl's name, I always assume it's K-pop. <laughs> so... Whenever they were like, you want to build an Isabel? I was like, yeah, it's a K-pop board. And they're like, what? No. It's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just so used to like girl name boards being K-pop boards. Also, let's watch this real quick. Okay, 
Okay, so for those who don't know, I built a devastating TKL for um, for Lakari, uh, Kyuko, who I met at a Twitch Women Alliance um, brunch. Um, she commissioned me to build a um, a board for him. Oh, yeah, brother, brother. Rutter, do you have the Discord link, Rutter? Rutter. <laughs> yeah, so Rutter, who is part of Key Spence, um, is part of CMM Studio. Oh. Alright, so let's watch this clip really quick while I lube up these stabilizers. I'll put this right here. Wait, what did you get me? Is this like a is this like a keyboard? This is a keyboard, isn't it? It's a dildo. Oh. You can show it. <laughs> dildo. Oh! Wait, this is really cool! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what is this? Is this like custom made? Look, your name's on it. Oh my name's on it! It's a time thing! Wait, because I like time! Yeah, look at the back! Just like Tekken! It's just like Tekken! Wait, I think this is a play Tekken actually, because I, I play on a keyboard! Yeah, with hitbox. Well, yeah, but like, you know, as well. I can like, I can like, th there are people who like, they take their keyboards to like locals and, wow, you look really good in those, holy shit. Wait, those actually fit you really well. Do you think they're really cool? You bought them today? Uh, not today, I've had them. You've had Yeah, it was a prop, yeah, yeah. I love Aiden. You want them? You want them? <laughs> so cute. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Wait, yeah. So that's what um I built that. Uh, Reagan from Space Cables. We actually engraved it uh, at his place, and I got to watch the process. I got. He walked me through it all and it was it was really cool. Yeah, so the keyboard I built was for Lakari, but at the time, um, at the time it wasn't engraved. So that's why you guys didn't know it was for him. Also, I hope those links work. See, that's that's like what I live for. I love seeing reactions. I like okay, I like seeing positive reactions to the boards that I build. I'm running out of lube. So whenever um Rest in peace, but this is from Dino Keys. Whenever they did their like closing permanently sale, <laughs> Vin and I bought so much lube. <laughs> so I have like, I have like five more containers. on the outer edge. Here's a case. Ooh. Yeah, you're welcome. You got like a dozen brushes? Yeah, I bought- we bought a lot of BDZ. Ben and I bought it together so we'd save our shipping.
Okay. Now we're just leaving switches. I I do feel bad when I do switches because I'm so slow, but it's nice because this is really relaxing for me. Tuning stabilizers, not so much, but lubing. Oh wait, did I say switches? Lubing stabilizers is fine, but lubing switches is not. Never mind. I don't like lubing switches, but lubing the stabilizer housing is pretty chill. It's kind of crazy because going on vacation and not streaming and then building a keyboard now, it feels like I haven't built a keyboard in forever. Remember when we used to get patty switches? <laughs> <I mean, laughs> yeah, but I, I run out of things to like talk about. Hi, couple. Yeah, I just run out of things to talk about. I wish I could... I wish I could just like talk, but I'm not good at that. You'll be back a little later? Okay. See you later. It's couple's dying. <laughs> what couple? Um, so... Something ain't right here. Six naked cowboys. Yeehaw. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> How you doing, Kapo? So, I was making new stickers yesterday. And, um... Are you instigator? You sus as hell. Um, we made new stickers yesterday and I'm basically trying to decide whether to do, um... Like a sticker sheet? Or if I should do... Like individual ones? Oh, is that... Is that a bot? Is it a bot? Account created May 16th. Hmm. Good question. But I saw something really cool when I was like browsing the new sticker site that I want to use. And they have... They have the, um... They have business cards that you can turn into stickers. So that would be really cool if we do like business card stickers, right? So you get my business card and you get a sticker at the same time. Is it a bot? Stickers pog? Yeah, so <laughs> if I do individuals, um, I'm about to drop like $400 on stickers. <laughs> Holy, yeah. Although I do I do feel like a little conflicted, so I want to get your guys' opinion, right? Do you guys think I reach out to the designers and ask if I can use their keycap designs on the stickers? Because I I asked Mint if I could use Magic Girl and she never responded to me. But out of like respect for her, I just never stole the one with Magic Girl because I wasn't sure. But I was thinking like maybe I should reach out. $400 in stickers. Yeah, because you have like the business card stickers and then you have the, um, so if I do the five, that's what, that's already a lot. Yeah, we got 7TV. 
think so out of courtesy okay so before you guys get too excited about the stickers i'm going to ask she wouldn't have been live for offline what the x6w bot i've been live for about an hour now <laughs> Wait, did I... Did stream die? Stream didn't die, right? Okay, now we're good. That would have been awkward. Still up? Alright, cool. Thanks. Yeah, so before you guys get too excited for the stickers, let me ask the designers to see if I can use their their colorways on them, just to be polite. And then if they say no, then I will use a different one. Beige? All right, quit it with the beige. Beige stickers? Really? You want stickers to match your khaki pants? Come on. No beige. It's not that I don't necessarily like, like, I hate beige. It's more like it's so boring. If I'm about to drop 400 bundos on stickers, and I do a beige sticker, like, that ain't worth it. <laughs> How could you? <laughs> Who wears pants? True. Give me something to match your bedroom drapes. What the? Yeah, get you drapes. Also, can you guys tell I have I'm having an allergic reaction? Oh, Blue! Thank you for the thirty month reso. Welcome back, Blue. Hello. Thirty months. Wow. How many years is that? <laughs> it's like two and a half years. Something right. Thanks for the follow. You have to solder a board, you're so scared. You got it. Solder your- oh my god, Vin. <laughs> what do you think, Blue? Do you think my stream has changed a lot in the two and a half years? Also, look. Can you tell? So when I do this, you can see. So I have like a reaction right here. I drink alcohol? No, I don't know what's causing it. Like it looks like I'm just tired, but it's red. The lighting makes it a little, it doesn't make it look as bad, but yeah. It's, it's like red underneath. Uh, my parents told me to take Benadryl and I was like, I have to stream. <laughs> if I take Benadryl, I ain't waking up. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that I ate and drank like both tonight or both today and yesterday. And the only thing I can think of is orange juice. The streams changed, but like not really at the same time. Yeah, it went from like the keyboard content it was like, brand new you like how your throat got itchy after hearing that oh no oh no i don't i don't know what's causing it i have figured it out yeah i have um 17 minutes you let the o juice loose no don't put it that way it's orange juice orange juice Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh huh. And I get called sussy, I know, right? <laughs> you are sussy, though, instigated.
Should we take a, an ad break now? What do you guys think? Or we'll, we'll do it after I loot this. And then we'll do like a five minute ad break. We hit the hour mark, so we'll just take a walk. I'll eat a little bit before I start the rest of it. Make sure you guys walk and stretch. You thought the ad program required the streamer to have automated ad? Nope. You can run the ads manually. You can also skip it too. You can skip it up to three times. They ask you to set up the automated ads in case you want to forget it, but you can still run them and you can still snooze them if you want. So you do have some leeway over it. Yeah. Yeah. I did a deep dive into it. Oh, Kapo, thank you for gifting a sub. Oh, he didn't want the sub. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. You got gifted a sub. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed here regardless. <laughs> no longer a pleb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm building Kapo's keyboard next week. The Singa. The Kohaku. It's my first Singa board. Let's go, yeah. Purple CNC hits different. Yeah. Patty, are you using Streamlab OBS or Stream? Oh, Streamlab OBS is Streamlab. I am using the widget I got from Streamlabs OBS, but I am using OBS. It is purple. You're right. Okay, that's it's like really confusing, but. So before I was using Streamlab OBS and I got the chat widget from it, right? Cause it, it gave me like the browser source for it. But then I swapped over to OBS and the chat link still worked. So I just kept it. But I just use plain OBS now. What is this? Oh, yeah. Couple linked that to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Perry, do you know who Lakari is? You might know Lakari. You seem like you would know Lakari. I built him keyboard. Something ain't right here. A winter bagel. Thanks for the follow. Wait a second. I'll link it to you. Really? Yeah. Sadly, you know Lakari pretty well. Oh no. He's a very loud person, IRL. <laughs> Oh no. So Yuko hit I think they're like seeing each other, but um 
Kyuko commissioned me to build it for him. Not the Kyuko clips? What? She's so sweet! She's amazing? Okay. I was about to say, like, if you're gonna. If you're about to, you know, talk bad about Kyuko, I might have to intervene. But I, I'm glad. <laughs> okay. Played Dungeon Fighter online like a million years ago. Yeah, I she commissioned me to build a keyboard for him and he really liked it. He had like a pretty wholesome reaction. It made me happy. Where's my keyboard? What is this? JH has an overlay that allows you to Twitch chat Oh! Okay, we'll try it. You'll stream your reaction. Dude, tell Al Kaiser. <laughs> Al Kaiser, like, sent me a business, sent me an email. I was like, okay. And then he just never responded. So I gave up. Can you believe him? I was like, you want a keyboard? He's like, yeah. Send me an email. So I sent him one and just never responded. I was like, all right. All right, dude. <laughs> Something right here. Thank you, Geometry, for the follow. What is a Teha Types mod? I was watching Teha play TFT today before I fell asleep. Oh, you're Teha's mod. I see. I'm mad at Teha. He was supposed to be at the Bulls event, and then he didn't go. He even told me, I was like, see you soon. And he's like, oh yeah, see you there. And then he didn't go. Can you believe that guy? Well, so he thought it was... Oh, okay. I'm going to say this wrong, but... uh. Dymos, thank you for the resub. Oh, six months! Welcome back! Hello, Saya. Yeah, so he thought he thought it was he thought it was in the afternoon, but it was actually at night, and then he already had plans at night. So he was like, just kidding, I can't go. Shake my head. Okay. But I'll probably see him next time. I don't know when I'm gonna go back. I've been to California like three times already. Like three times this year already. Not crazy. Oh. F. I need to go to NorCal. That's where I need to go. Next time I'll go to NorCal. Oh boy. Yeah, visit Shiru. I was supposed to go to Shiru's first meetup, but that was like um, the start of like, COVID cases were, like... 
at a record high again. <laughs> so I, I was just like, uh, I guess not. I guess I don't go. Yeah, but I had to fly. And flying is a little sussy. So the question is... Do we have to use these? Oh, wait. I can't even use this. How long have you been making keyboards? Uh, like a year and a half now? Oh. Is this correct? Is Frother a Kiwi? SOS. <laughs> Hi, Paul. This cut out is not correct for the space bar. Okay, so I guess we don't use this. Uh, it, it does, but like the cutout is not, I would have to like, you see? Like I would have to basically cut this out. But these work. Oh, so I I would have to cut this. Is that correct? Like I would have to make a hole and cut it out. Yeah, I know it's uh I know it's PE foam first, but this is the issue. I'm guessing I would just have to like cut it right here. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the stab cutout is a little off. Is it really a 2020 keyboard if we don't use all the foam crew? I see a keyboard you made for a guy on TikTok is so nice. Which one? Okay, so you have to cut it? Okay. Just making sure. It's up to you if you want to use it. Nah. Oh, Reagan, thank you for the 14 months. Oh, Reagan, look, you want to see the, um, the reaction for Lakari? So Reagan is the one who helped me engrave the board. And that was his, uh, reaction to opening it. It's, it's so wholesome. It's so cute. In case you guys, in case you wanted to see his reaction. Wait, he's still at the office? Reagan, you're still at the office? Wait, he lives like a few minutes away. <laughs> Too broken aboard. Oh my gosh, Reagan. What the? All right, so for those who don't know, if you're new here or if you're an older returning viewer, um, 
So I am restructuring the stream a little bit for this month. I signed up for Twitch's new ad incentive program. And so I'm going to have designated ad breaks about every hour or so. Um, and that way, you know, you guys can take a break. I can take a break. But our next ad starts in about a minute. It's going to be a three. Yeah, it's going to be like a three minute ad. Or it's going to be like a 10 minute ad. Uh, it's gonna be like five to seven ad break but basically i have to run a certain amount of ads so um i'm gonna take this time to run the ads we're gonna take a break and then when we get back i'll finish the switches and then we'll do a few typing tests and different switches as well but anyways okay uh the ad starts in 40 seconds so we're gonna let that one run and then after that one ends then i'm gonna run another manual three minute ad so that way we get rid of all the ads for the rest of the hour. This is going to be, yes, strategically planning this. You have beige crocs. Wait, really? I'm wait. <laughs> I would get crocs. Beige? Probably not beige, but I would get crocs. Crocs are comfy. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to do my ad break now. Everyone go stretch, go use the restroom, go get water or don't. But I will be back in a few.
Hello? Alright. Was it bad? Was it bad for you guys? What do you guys think? Nice little break. Right? All right. All right. Pivotu. All right, so the sisters we're gonna use. Ooh. Yeah, I just, I need to figure out which one I wanna buy. So these are the uh, peach bloom switches. I was so cow. It's good. I had to meet Shubes. Shubes is a real person, believe it or not. <laughs> but yeah, I they took me out to eat a lot. Um, yeah, I just ate a lot. Ran the stream. Pretty nice. Yeah, we did. But Reagan went to NorCal. I went to SoCal. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. So these are the. Peach Blossoms, they are GWK. Uh, it's a linear. These are full nylon housings. It has a long pole stem. Uh, the spring is 63.5. Yeah, GWK is the manufacturer. I thought shoes was an anime waifu in disguise. Yeah, you guys wish. It's it's kind of funny cuz I um I posted a video of Shoob's hand on my story because so you, you guys may or may not know this but Shoob's doesn't want to like reveal his face. He's just not ready for the face reveal and I don't know if he ever will. Peach bloom? Yeah. Oh, peach bloom, sorry. I think I said blossom. Peach bloom. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay, so the command is Peach Bloom. Whew. Um, you, you honestly don't blame him? His fans are rabid? Yeah. They are pretty... They're pretty thirsty for him. Um... But yeah, so I I posted a picture of his hands, and I had I had a few people message me. It was like, is that Shubes? And apparently they were just like, we recognize his hands from like anywhere. It was kind of crazy. So with these switches, there are um, there are. Four different other ones. There's Starry Night, there's Graphite Gold, and White Jade. Did you see a not safe for work dust mat? Shoop's kind of icy. It was like, need a cop or else the icy is just memeing off of him. Yeah, so that's my, that's my Mizu, right? Yes, it is on key Spencery. I don't, I don't know if my code works for group buys. I'll have to ask, but in stock stuff, my code does work. You don't think your wife would approve? <laughs> Does she look at your desk often? Oops, let's see. Push this up. By first approve later, true. Can someone check if my code works? I think it, sh it should. She comes to hang out with me? Uh oh. Did check for me? Thanks. Let's 
So let me make sure this layout. Okay. Connor and I just kind of like do our own things because we're in separate rooms. I do my own thing, he does his own thing. Couple, you already got me into one deathmatch group, but oh yeah, the the one in the Discord, right? Okay, so my code only works for in-stock products. Wait, should I? I, I wasn't sure if I should because I didn't want to like... I didn't know how many people have joined it. That was my only concern. Can I join it? Of course, okay. It kind of seemed like there was already a lot of people. Hello, Sumi. Sumiko. Oh, and apparently a few people didn't know that um, the Mimizuku, the uh, Totoro board from Shuru Design, is a collaboration board with me and Shuru. So that's going to be in stock drop. I think there's only going to be 50 units. It's going to be around $200, $230-ish. But they're coming with a lot of like acrylic boards. You honestly didn't know? Yeah, I, I built it on stream um a little bit ago but yeah that was um a collaboration board with me and shrew because dot literally approached me was like hey you got any board ideas i was like uh yeah i've always wanted to make a totoro board <laughs> and so he's like oh do you have any idea of what you want it to look like? And I sent him a really like janky rough draft and he made it happen. So nice. Um, you watch your Kohaku vod. Oh, do you like the Kohaku, Frank? Your photos are really nice. I remember you revealing and building a beat of rumor saying, oh yeah. I probably like did not. I probably did not mention that. Public does have one. I'm building it for him. He has the red one too. I'm excited to build it though. Hot up so nice. I don't know why people harp on hot slop. It's honestly so convenient. Hotswap is perfect for like different switches. So I guess like if you only are, if you're fine with just like the one switch, but whew. it's nice that I go back and forth. I get to go back and forth between like hot swap solder boards. Gives me like a nice break. Well, I, I do like soldering. Don't get me wrong there, but 
Sometimes it's nice to just like pop on switches and call it a day. <laughs> Anyone, any time so rags and hot swap, they just come off as elitist. Yeah, there's a few things that people will say or do um, that come off as like elitist. I, I try not to engage with people usually though, especially when it comes to like keyboard opinions. Because when you're arguing about like preference, it just, I feel like <laughs> agree to disagree. Uh, so just film? No. Nothing wrong with Hossop? Agree. Agree. Hello, Tim. What's up? Hello. How is such as that filter using a camera to film a crew? What do you think is better, Milmax or hot swap sockets in terms of like... Hilo. Hey yo, stop. Hilo! Hey, I'm gonna break the lure box! Sorry, killing him a cat. <laughs> um... I think it depends on the Milmax or hot swap sockets. I personally... I personally like the hot swap sockets just because like Momax you have to like do it yourself um, and plus Momax has this like it doesn't matter too much but it's like slightly raised depending on the sockets you use um, appreciate that oh the that I like hot swap. <laughs> I'm just lazy. <laughs> yeah, I just I just think sometimes like arguing with people about like keyboards is tiring. Like, I don't know if you guys read the the thing on Reddit about like the key cult thing. Man, some of those comments are like pretty intense to read. I don't know if you guys read them or not, but yeah, some are definitely pretty intense. Some switches also don't work with Milmax. Yeah, like the the clearance and whatnot. No oh, yuck on my yum. Yeah, it's just it was just weird reading that thread. Like I I agree that you know if you spend like three thousand dollars on a commission communication should be like very like communication is really important because that's that's not that's a lot of money right but at the same time like i heard that there were people in the thread who were complaining about not having not getting like com communications about their commission and they didn't even have a commission <laughs> they were just like chiming in for the sake of chiming in because they wanted to like you know it's time for us to pretend we know what we're talking about and shit on people <laughs> mm, okay you personally only use hand wire ports oh really oh wait the gaskets. You appreciate you don't engage in dumb elite behavior. You seem pretty chill. I'm good at most things. I mean, it, at the end of the day, it's what I like. It's what you like. As long as you're not like pushing that onto me, then it's chill. Oh wait. Oh, I need to remove these. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, Connor's think caps are finally coming in. Huh? 
Hobby does a lot of that. Yeah. I just, it's just like... It's so weird to go into a thread and be like, Oh yes, I have been wrongly justified by the commission. Only to find out that this person never got a commission in the first place. Like... Why? Why do that? Other than for attention. Like, don't do that. I don't care if this is still a case, but some Momax are too small to accept kills, such as over there. Oh, you know what keyword I was really thinking about buying? Was the Space Cable Praxis one. The Alice Cube? I was just thinking about that. I sat here for a long time thinking, should I buy one? I think when you engage with like people online, you have to be like really careful. Cause some people are legit just like crazy. Like I remember one of my friends got like death comments over one of his comments or like death threats over his comment. And it, like that, that's just like insane. And plus, like, I'm worried because being a streamer and since I live, like, at home, I'm afraid I'm going to piss someone off and someone's going to find out where I live and then literally, like, dox my parents' house, you know? And at that point, I would feel so guilty because not, like, it's one thing to, like, mess with me, but then you're, like, messing with my parents too, you know? And so I, I try to keep, it's, it's kind of weird because as a streamer, you put yourself out there and you put yourself at risk for stuff like that. Right. Um, but at the same time, like I, <laughs> I, I want my privacy, especially since it involves like my parents too. And so sometimes I do feel like, oh man, why am I a streamer if I'm like so afraid of like people finding out like my real life information? But I just think, you know, it, it's like something I shouldn't even have to worry about. Like people finding out my address and, you know, coming to my house. But it's a very real thing and it, and it scares me. And maybe, oh, maybe, yeah, I'm like a little paranoid about it, but I think rightfully so. You're considering Praxis as well as Sal's Gateron hot swap sockets. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Internet makes people crazy. Mm -hmm. People talk mad crap when they're online because of the veiled anomaly. Well, that's the thing is like some people don't even care. Like, like young people don't even care when they don't have anything like on the line. It was like, <laughs> if you're just like a teenager kid with like no job, like you don't give a shit. Streamer Modfer was harassed to use to sanction like PewDiePie more than T-Series due to harass her emoting to have found her friends and like, yeah. Yeah, like, one little comment like that can really just, like, set people off, and that- that's, like, so scary to me. Like, imagine if I said, you know, so for example, like, oh, I hate Bade, and then, like, someone really just, like, hates me over it. But it's just like one of those things where, you know. 
I think for people who are like older or、um, who have jobs, if you're able to find them and expose them for like being a shitty person, like that's fine. But if you look for younger kids who don't really have that much to lose at the moment, they feel like they can do whatever they want. I mean, there are some people out there who don't give a shit, even if they do like have jobs, but. Police is here to mock. Yeah. Have I watched Uncle Roger? Nope. Might be an extreme take, but you think you need to have ID linked to online accounts like Asia does? Yeah. I would agree with that to some extent too. Ah、uh, yeah. Yeah. Who? What's Uncle Roger? <laughs> Oh, beige be boring. Yeah. She be living under a rock. What is it? The go-to Asian community. Commu oh yeah, I don't watch. I watch anime. That's it. <laughs> I am a consumer of anime, and that's it. <laughs> Shinji, no, no. You love him? Do you recommend? Is it on Netflix? YouTube? Alright, I'll check it out. The equivalent of Gordon Ramsay? You think so? So. I forgot who was saying this, but I was watching someone, and they were saying how, you know, Gordon Ramsay, you know how he likes to yell at people, but like the Asian people just like take it very like, okay, I got it, okay, I got it. And the like the non-Asian people are just like, oh, he's so mean, and they're like crying about it, and they're just like, like our Asian parents are like Gordon Ramsay, and it was like. Oh yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But <laughs> it's just like, yeah, if someone was yelling at me and I'm like, I did do something wrong, I'd be like, okay, yeah, you're right, yeah, okay. <laughs> like if I if I talked back to my parents like yelling at me, holy moly. <laughs> they just plain ramen noodles with nothing, just noodles in a bowl. Master Chef Asian contestants are superior. Asians just take everything in. Yep. But here's the thing, like, if it's not like a teacher or my parents yelling at me, and someone just like tells me off, I don't take that. Like, if some rando on the street like started criticizing me in the way I dress. I'd be like, who the fuck do you think you are? Of course, if my mom did it, I'd be like, okay, mom, you right, okay, I'll go change. Like, there's a difference between like just taking shit versus like taking it from someone that you know and respect, right? <laughs> But if someone tried to like criticize me out of nowhere, I'd be like, who are you? Why do I care about your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> You ain't my mom. You see the criticism here in SG. <laughs> also, I really like these gaskets because they're like perfect size for these. 
they're they're actually like spot on i i'm not having to like readjust and like recenter it and like you know all this jazz like when you align it to the edge and you put it across it fits perfectly uh oh yes 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 ryan posted on his story it's so funny right story i was a meme and then it actually happened Wait, how do people use one keyless? Like you use your windows a fair bit, do they remap it? Yeah. Some people remap it. Or some people don't get one keyless at all. <laughs> this is the video. How long is it? Let me watch it real quick. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay, yeah. If a lady talked to me like that, I'd be like... I don't care. <laughs> You're not my mom. You can't live without link key and arrow keys. Oh, so, um, have you guys ever remapped a 60% the right hand side to arrow keys? That's what I do with 60% because I too love arrow keys, but since I don't really use the right side too much, I remap it to arrow keys. I'll show you guys. So, in, like, it seems like it would be intuitive, but, I mean, some people... I didn't know this was a thing until someone told me. Like, right here. So, I use these as arrow keys. I thought the one you size would also mess me up, but since this is somewhat like centered, it actually does not mess me up at all. So for the Design 03, I used that for a long time too. You know on the Alice, like the one U button, the FN, I press that and I use WASD. So oh, let me show you. So like right here, you see this key? I hold it and I use WASD. Or some people will use caps lock and WASD. So this is what I use for arrow keys on an Alice. But yeah, I mean, this one has arrow keys, but. <laughs> Um, 60... Oh, wait. Would you rather 64% with a 1U shift and delete or 60% on say standard use right shift as arrow key? Right shift as arrow key. Um... Oh, yeah. Cosmo? Yeah. My cat. He's like a fluffy. Oh, okay, HHKB. HHKB aesthetic is super nice for sure.
Okay. Oh, wait. No, this is on... Hold on. Oh, that's right. Hi, Art. What's up? Uh... Praxis sold out. Oh, yes. Praxis sold out. Did you either like Avertation Pool or All Red or hear every egg screaming quietly in a two-mile radius? What? Yugs? Can you go pee pee? Can you go pee pee? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my dog out uh, real quick and let her go use the restroom, but I will be right back. She's like whimpering. Sorry. Cringe. What do you mean cringe? She's gotta go pee. Doggies has got to go pee, but I will be right back. I will run an ad while we're waiting, but brb. Can't just BDC your problems a little Also, hi, Soy. Can't go pee pee? Hey, Ankit. Thank you for the raid. How you doing? 
I got your build from request, but I just haven't. I'll reach out to you about it soon, but I did get it. Welcome raiders, hello. Um, you wanna get a mid-tier HHKB, but do not wanna settle for something cheap like Aqua? I see you. Mm -hmm. HHKB, you go for Topra. What is your board being built with? Um, these, uh... Wait. <laughs> Don't tell me. These switches are... Carol. Carol switches. Yeah, I'm down to build that. For sure. Do you not... Wait. <laughs> is there an issue? Do you want me to hold off on building it? WT of our Carol switches? Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> they are key dispensaries and stock switches. Listen to me after a second. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so that's why the screws are so long. Okay. Chinese VTuber group under TikTok. Yeah, what what Frother said. Oh, Yugs, yeah, going back to what you're saying, I would say the bread. I don't want to hear the eggs screaming. My dad eats so much eggs. I would hear the eggs screaming every morning. I'm not about that life. I don't have bread. I don't always have bread, but legit if I heard the egg screaming, I would not like that. No, no, no. Okay, so Yugs asked earlier, would you rather bread have a gravitational force or would you rather hear eggs silently screaming within a two mile radius? So that's what I was answering. <laughs> I like bread and eggs. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I want my theory. Right now, honey, what the? What's going on in my chat right now? What'd you build today on kit, by the way? It's a little steamy, I know, what the heck? Okay, I see the problem. It's a lonely Friday. <laughs> key cult? You built a key cult? What did you think? Are you millmaxing a key cult? Doesn't key cult come with hot swap? Oh, it's a number one. Oh, I see. Oh, 
But you guys know each other? Wait, it's your key cult? You're gonna get some cotton candies. You would never mill max, I see. Okay, so when you're assembling this, basically, you wanna make sure that the USB port is, um, aligned properly. Plate as well. Uh... Oh, you mount it? Okay. You mount the mid piece first? And then put the plate on top? Okay. You have to do it that way? Oh god, the screws. This all come out. That's more secure, okay. So if brother said to do this, okay, and then close it. Are the plastic tip pliers for balancing stops? They are, yes. Oh, you changed your name? Wait. What did you change your name? What the? And then you flip it over. Okay. Okay. Oh, do you want me to mill max blooming? Do you want me to mill max it? Nah. Oh, is it is the PCB hot swap? Yeah, when did you change your name? I didn't know that at all. That's probably when you recept. I was like, what the? I don't recognize this name, but I'll say thank you. Uh, I can check. Spencer is running a sussy mat at the moment. Do you disapprove? Dakima? Yeah, it looks good. 
You're buying five of each color? My man. <laughs> It'll keep her chat more engaged. What the? You need a sussy dust mat to keep your chat engaged? Why not just be sussy yourself? Brother sussy? Brother wasn't sussy around me though. You like my dust mat? Thank you. It is the um I got from a Mickey bow. It is a cat. The cat one. From um I don't know if you guys remember the uh Neko keyboard. You don't show sus to girls. What a gentleman. What a gentleman. I mean, I would prefer not to know when people are being sussy. In all honesty. You know, like... <laughs> with, uh... <laughs> okay, so... I don't know if you guys know... Know Glendale, but... Dude, Glendale's hella sussy. But he was, like, sussy to the other guys. Hey, you have to keep a reputation, but with bros, you don't care about it. True. Setting it to Tom. <laughs> Hello, Felipe. Hello, Snoopy. Is Shoop sussy? No. Although, Shoops and I did bond over a hentai meme. So, maybe. Hi, Dan. Thank you for the follow. Show us the hentai meme? Alright, it was... It's not even like that weird, okay? She's really nice. Wait. Nat. Do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> or are you just saying that? You just say, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. I... Okay, because I met... I met new people whenever I was, um... Um... In California, and I wasn't sure, like... If you were someone I met, and you were, like, stopping by the stream, then I would, like, feel really bad, because I was like, wait... Who is this? <laughs> yeah, no, Shoops is nice. Hammerheart dark, beautiful? Yeah, I like it more than light base. Okay, so when you're assembling this together... They, these are tight screws. By the way. At least for this one. So if you find yourself, like, screwing extra tight. Okay, so this is for my, my VOD later on. Um, so when you're assembling case, when you're putting it together, you want to put the bottom piece down, then the mid piece to align it, and then put your plate, and then the top case, so everything's aligned. Then flip it over, put the screws in, and then do the corners, so opposite corners opposite corners and then screw the rest in but don't screw it in all the way yeah just do like a little bit at a time 
Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, see, I wasn't sure because I met a lot of people and I just... I would feel bad if like you were someone I met and then I didn't like know. Um, this is in stock. This is 239. Removable blockers. What keycaps are you using? Someone said taro. Should I use taro? I'll go grab my taro. I will go grab my taro. I don't have frost switch. I don't have beige. Where's my taro? Uh -oh. Knockoff milkshake? I bought um, cherry milkshake that I like a lot. Why don't like is only correct when beige is being used on another board? Oh my god. What the heck? Hey brother, you wanna send me frost switch? I'm down. I'll use frost switch. Oh wait, this is the right one? Where's my 7U? Wait. Wait! I'm so confused right now. Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Send me base beige CRP with your board. Uh, uh. No, it's not board, it's faulty. I didn't realize it was like separate. Please just use the right address. Oh no. No solder fumes today. True. Uh, ZXCVBN. Oh 
Holy shit, I'm so dumb. <gasps> Wait, no one caught that? No one caught it. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, no one... No one said anything. Okay, look. Okay. To be fair. To be fair, okay. I, um... I haven't built a keyboard in like a week. You know, this is my return back. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use split backspace. Yeah, a bit rusty. It it do be like that sometimes. I'm just doing this for more content with you guys. Okay, more time. You know, I like to spend time with you guys. That's why. <laughs> also. Not to say that this is why, but I also woke up straight from my nap and started streaming, so... <laughs> Sorry. Lucky you weren't the first half of the break, that true. <laughs> it do be like this sometimes. By the way, with how tight this board is, I would not recommend using a wow stick. I'd recommend using a manual hex driver. <laughs> you finished homework. What the? That's how I know you're young. Homework. Hi, Shibi. How are your days well? Go well. We're just warming up with our builds. Oh my goodness, I feel like such a dumbass right now. I'm surprised no one called me out on it. Yeah, I'm surprised no one's like, wait, Patty. We're just all chilling. At least it wasn't slaughtered. True, 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 true. Are you guys sabotaging? Did you guys know? But you didn't want to say anything? <laughs> no, brother, I'm not doing it. Where you just like push it out like this? I'm not doing that. That's way too scary. Okay, pretend, pretend we did the build, okay? We're done. Feel like Velcro, no! That's so scary. Did you test VCV? Oh, yeah, I haven't flashed it yet. Am I flash it now?
Wait, you did send me the Isabel. Dusk is this? This is a um This is the uplift dusk. So as most of the keys are working right now, so I'll I'll take this off and then put it in and then test it. Since I took them off. But yeah, it's working. Yeah, this is an uplift desk that I got. Um, it is very deep. I I kind of have mixed thoughts about it. So the desk itself, I love. The customer service though is not was not so good. Um, but yeah, this is an uplift desk. But yeah, the the customer service was just not very good for this desk. So, if you guys do plan on getting uplift desk, I just hope that you either get good customer rep or nothing's wrong with your desk. He needs a power cable anyways, true. Why are we taking out- uh, I forgot a stabilizer. <laughs> so I'm gonna use split backspace. The way that brother intended 60%. Yeah, you, you guys can't do that. Like, just get, like, um... Oh, I'm saying I'm using split backspace. That's what you said earlier, right? Yeah, I, I would recommend just getting, like, a butcher block. And you can buy, like, the, the automated legs. The, um... So they didn't send me, um... They didn't send me the power cable for my desk, so I couldn't even like use it, right? And then I had to like call customer service a few times and then I like had to email them too because I like severe like desk wobble. Um, Something ain't right here. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, I had really bad like desk wobble. And like trying to figure out like how to fix that and they just have like very textbook like responses like our desk only wobbles when standing up and i was like no your desk is wobbling when it's not standing up and they're like have you checked that it wobbles standing up and i was like okay but that's not the issue <laughs> and then they like asked me weird questions like did you sit on your desk? Have you tried rearranging your desk? Stuff like that. So, I would not recommend getting monitor arms from Uplift. I'd recommend buying like a more expensive one because that's what fixed a lot of my wobble. Like the monitor arms from Uplift were just not good. Like they were too flimsy. Um, Especially if you have like bigger monitors, right? But I got like a more stable, stable one and it's like better now. No, I just changed out the arm and it's fine. I didn't redistribute the weight. Yeah, just get one from Amazon. Don't buy. Don't buy the monitor arms from them. Amazon Basics has yet to let you down, yeah.
Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, if you if you get like um if you get an uplift dusk or any like standing dust, I I just would not recommend their monitor arms because they're flimsy. And with a standing dust, if you have flimsy monitor arms, legit when you type, your desk your monitors will shake or your desk will shake. And for me, I get motion sickness like pretty easily. And it was getting to the point where like I would type and I would get motion sickness because of how flimsy the monitor arms combined with like the standing desk like a little higher up. It was, it's not good. So would not recommend their like monitor arms. Unless you're okay with like a little bit of screen shake, but personally like it got to the point where I, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Hi, Taro. Um, you're just a bit skeptical about using monitor arms on pop without them being secured. Um, yeah, I, I could see that, but I think it's okay, right? Oh, wait, without being secured like to the legs. That's what you're saying. If you're considering a standing desk, I would just buy butcher's block and then buy like the separate legs. Like the standing legs. It's like cheaper that way. And then whenever you do do that, it is, it is like more secure if you plan on using like monitor arms. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the tabletop resting on drawers, but I got, um, I got a really deep desk would highly recommend would highly recommend bless you oh thank you yeah i mean at first when i got my desk i thought like oh man i don't need all this space like what am i going to do with all this space or it's so deep like i don't need anything that deep and now I'm like, I wish I had more dust space. <laughs> Oops. But yeah, it's just dealing with uplifts. Like, customer service is like pretty bad for me. But you can buy the legs. You can just buy the legs from Uplift, or you can buy them from Amazon. The only thing that I was like concerned about doing it myself was doing like finish on the butcher's block or just like finishing it but i mean after i finished after i fixed like my wobble stuff my desk has been really nice i like that you know i can just adjust it however i want um it's a very big desk a very pretty desk with lots of rooms for activity i do stand up in the afternoons and then it's also, it's also really nice because if I'm like really like having to do this, I can just lift it up. Female perfume smells 10 times better than male. Wait, why is that unpopular? Opinion. I'd agree with that. It's exactly what you did. You built your own sit to stand. Yeah. I I didn't feel comfortable staining and doing all that, which is why I just bought the uplift one. Boys can't stand the smell of flowers. Wait, really? Wait, really? It's weird for you to smell like flowers. Oh. <laughs> oh, you mean like for yourself? Oh, for yourself. I see. Well, that's a lot weird. Hmm. 
You just say it's, it's you just say it's your laundry detergent. Just say it's your fabric softener. No one's gonna judge you. Oh, so my keyboard is underneath here. <laughs> well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Oh, wait. This one is off. Oh no, please don't be that guy. <laughs> don't yuck my yum. That's my Cali trip. It's good. Hey, lots of food. I got the meat shoops. Got to see old friends. Got to see old friends, meet new ones. It was good. I mean, if someone says you smell like four of for perfume, you could be like, it's my girls. <laughs> if you're really worried about that. Men's perfume is like too musky. I agree. I used to... So Connor used to wear, like, cologne. And then he told me that he, like, put more on so, like, he would smell better for me. And then one day I was like, yo. I'm allergic to cologne. <laughs> he was like, oh, really? I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you smell fine and all, but... <laughs> like, I I'm actually allergic to cologne. And he was like, oh. Okay, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear it anymore. Because I only wear it for like... I was only wearing it. So I would smell good for you. And I was like, oh, no, you're good. How do the blockers work? They're two screws on top of the top case. So you just screw them off and remove them. Oh, that's a Joji moment right there. Okay, there it goes. But yeah, feel, I mean, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, don't, don't be sorry. But yeah, the blockers are screwed in by two screws on the top and you just screw them off. Real question, cologne or roll-ons? Oh, I don't know. I don't use any of that. I just use deodorant. The only perfume I like smelling is light blue because it reminds me of my mom. Because that's like the same perfume she's been using for like years. And so anytime I smell light blue, I think of my mom. Like, oh, you smell like my mom. <laughs> Ooh, 
light blue. Light blue. Putty, do you like the color purple? Yeah, it's all right. Light blue. Oh my God, are you making fun of my English right now? <laughs> my pronunciation? The perfume's called light blue. Oh no, you're fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Yo sus, what up? Yo sus, you looking swole, dude. How does it feel to be back at the gym? By DNG? Yeah. Couple races though. You get sus sports. How are apple stubs versus Morgan stabs? Um, owl stabs are nice because you don't have to tune them. Um, the thing with like owl stabs is if you happen to get like a janky wire and you don't have extras, there's like not much you can do about that. So, Morgan's are. I like Morgan's or Morgan's, but they're hard to get because they don't really manufacture them anymore. But those are nice because they have like different color variants, whereas like owl stops don't, right? So there's pros and cons to both. I think if you, yeah, I think if you, um, If you don't want to tune stabilizers, owl stops are pretty pretty nice for that. A mounting style, it's gasket. Yeah, wire balance. All right, have fun at the wedding. Also, you do you, boo. And you wear the perfume you want. It's 2022. You're saying your pack of teal morgues are a hot commodity? Yeah. Ether, Ether, thank you for the resub. Hello, five months. It's 2022, guys can smell like flowers too. True, it's true. Oh, is gorgeous? I agree. I agree. Okay. Okay. We did it. Hi, is that food next to you? Yeah, it does. But I ate during my ad break, so I'm good. Yeah, so it's bruschetta and it's um spaghetti with bolognese and a meatball. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. 
My friend's cat was named Bolognese. Oh, really? <laughs> she's a brown hello. <laughs> I feel like you don't see brown cats that often. You're gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Vin does that. If, in, if you're in here, just don't be alarmed when my mods compliment you. Is that from Indolus? Yeah, it is. ZXCVB. What? That's true. Instigator, didn't you get the memo? U W E R. Are those egg tarts? They are. I'll be your back. Hold on. Kika. Kinka girl. Starting with Insti. Oh my gosh. Insti, you hear that? As a hi. Hello, face. Kiss a hammy. Exactly. A S D F G. Oh no, what happened here? To join the mod team is almost like a beauty contest. Oh god. My tarts are so good. Oh shoot, I don't know the split backspace configuration. I'm gonna need help. Wait, do I put backspace right here? You got a dreamy? You go got a greeny. So backspace right here. <laughs> Pipe and then tilde. Like this? IG? Oh, you're looking for my Instagram? Exclamation point socials. Can someone do that for me? Although I only post keyboards. I post keyboards on my dog. Keyboard and foods, yeah. And dog, yeah. G H J K. You know what's freaky is once I like re where I like reposted something on my story. Uh, I think it was Soy was like, "Is that you're gonna be building that, right?" <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, I know you're gonna be building that. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> but he was right. So now I gotta be careful of what I repost. 
could accidentally be giving you guys a leak without even like knowing it. I post on my Instagram stories. Oh my god. Cute! Very, very cute. Oh, you guys don't know what I put on my Bongo Cat submission? It's, it's a little not safe for work. I said, one of your best, this is very uwu uwu strawberry kawaii, Tilde. And I said, I swear if any of those cum blasters win this and I see them reselling this for $500, if I see any of them flipping it, I'm gonna flip them. <laughs> Okay, so if you guys don't get that, it's like every time he posts in his Discord that he's a new sculpt, someone, like, they all, like, his chat just always, his Discord always responds, reacts with, like, cum, C U M. And so that's how I was like, I swear to God, if, like, you, these people are, like, flipping this cute ass one, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Cause it's so cute! It's so cute. Bongo? The strawberry one. Also, oh, hello. Sorry, you came in at a weird time, I guess. <laughs> Yellow cyan purple gives you dreamy vibes, yeah. I feel like I always use taro, but for good reason. Oh wait, I need to change the fish. You okay, Patty? No, I hate it when I hate it when people prey on like the cute stuff. They're like, oh yes, a very cute bongo. Let me win it and then I flip it for five hundred dollars because people will pay for that shit. I was just like, stop! Don't do that. Enter because you want to win. Don't enter because you think you can flip it. Damn. Why do you know what I say when I'm at home? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just saying. Like... Enter the bongo because you want to win it. Not just like, oh yes, I'm going to trade this shit. I'm going to sell this for so much because people will buy it. <laughs> That's why I said, if I catch any of these MFs flipping it, I'm gonna flip them. What do you think? Should, should I put like a color accent? You don't understand anything made you- <laughs> Oh, so basically... Basically, with artisan keycaps, they're very limited, by right? Limited amount. And so, whenever you enter it, you enter for a chance to buy it. And so since they are so rare, people will enter just for the sake of getting it and then reselling it because they know people will pay like an obscene amount for it. Hi. 
clipping a decaf on the day I arrived. And then a few hours of upper. Yeah. That's anything at this point? Yeah. That's why when someone's like, myth cap ditto for, um... You want the yellow enter? Yeah, we can do that. Hi, baby. What is it? What is it? What? Why are you looking at me? Oh, you thirsty! Okay. Um... Let me go give her water. Too much? Okay, too much. Let me go give her water. Um, it's downstairs, so I'll be right back. And we'll run just like another quick ad since it starts in 20 minutes anyways. Okay, I will be right back. Give my dog some water. I'm back a little early, but I'll just wait. I had to refill the cat water. I found a freaking pistachio. <laughs> I found a pistachio in my cat's water. <laughs> what the heck? Uh? Pistachio water, do you trend? Yeah. Okay. Three hours later. We're here. We're here. What do you guys think? Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, so... For those who don't know, this is the Isabel 60. It's an in-stock keyboard set. Or keyboard. It comes in four different colors. 
This is the purple unit. And what's cool about this is that these blockers are removable. Here's what the side looks like. Then here's what the back looks like. And then here's what the USB side looks like. Cute. So let me just make sure this is all working. Make sure we got all the keys on correctly. Oh, Lord. Enjoy the dust spot? Oh yeah, for the... Ah... Uh, the Totoro. I think so, follow. Change layout? Oh yeah. I just want to make sure that the keys were working. Um, so this would be... This and then Tildy. This would be backspace of control alt. This one I like having alt. No window key. Okay. Cool. All right. We good. Yeah, so this is an in-stock keyboard. I'll do a typing test, and the sisters we're going to be using are the Peach Blooms. They are a linear, which is also in stock at Keyspensary. I don't like putting the feet on keyboards. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Shoes. PCV is 1.6. Hello, Shoops. Wow. You're on Twitch. Wait, are you back? Or are you still on Cali? Thanks for the resub. You're still on Cali? Oh. You're at AX? Oh, Shoops, I need to send you new stickers whenever I get them, but here, I'll show you. Tell me which one you want, unless you want all of them. Then we can do that too. Let me find it. Yeah, so this is GMK Honey Hander Bite. This is a HHKB. This is a botanical. Tootsie. <laughs> so I can send you all of them. Unless you just want one. Right here. Fan of Spiff, thanks for the follow. I really wish I could have gone to AX. If those Tootsie. All of them. Ruka Su, thanks for the follow. All right, all right, can definitely do that. That's what I was working on last night. More stickers. Okay. Anyways, let's do type test. You'll send you new ones. Yeah. So I actually have my shoot sticker on my um on my. Case. Let me take a picture of it. Look, <laughs> can I see that? Yeah, my sticker was signed, put on my computer case. <laughs> Is 
This is the only one on my case. All right. What is this, Taro? I just built this board. We're gonna do a um, tiny test of it. Let me, okay, so I changed a lot of my um, filters. So let me try and adjust that. Give me one sec. Okay, it might be kind of loud, but, oh wait. All right, so this is the Isabel. Um, we're using peach bloom switches. Uh, both of these you can find in stock at Case Mensary. They also have a few regional vendors, but yeah. Uh, we're using Alu Plate. I have the switch foam and then I have like a bottom foam, like the case foam. Um, TX stabilizers. This is PVT Taro and a very cute Miru. But yeah. Okay, I haven't typed on a regular keyboard except for this one today, so I might be a little rusty. It's also split back space. <laughs> You like this one? The space bar is really distinct. Center though.
Okay, I'm back. Hello. What do you guys think? What did you guys think? Nice little patty. Good job on the board, Father. Yeah, so... Looking at it again... So for the 100th time, this is the Isabel in stock, 60%. It's cool because you have removable blockers. I like the space bar. It's very, it's very distinct. I liked it. Um, but yeah, so these blockers are removable. They are on the top case with two screws right here. So two screws right here, right? And then you do have this like middle accent piece right here. But this is the side. This is the back. I was saying earlier that I really like the back side because it's blank. So if you ever decide you want to like engrave it, it's perfect. Like you have a blank canvas ready to go. So it's nice because you could buy this. It's what? What's the price? 239 in stock. Yeah, if you buy this and then you can engrave it, whatever you want. Yeah, you can also put a sticker on it. Yeah, you can also put a sticker on it. Comes in four colors. This is the purple one. But I like how they just subtly have the name of the board right here, Isabel. I think that was like a really nice touch. Also, <laughs> also look, was this planned? Look at the Miru and look at the Isabel, the A. Oh my goodness, was that planned? <laughs> Crazy. But, yeah. So it's nice because you can remove the blockers. So if you are like, well, I never use the right key, but I do use left, like the left Windows key, just remove this blocker and then you can have it. Easy. Right. Thanks for the follow. Or if you're like, oh, I need both these keys, you just get both of them. And then later on, as you evolve and adapt and you're like, I have transcended and I don't need any of these keys. Then you can just put it back on. Something ain't right here. Thanks for all the follows. Oh god, half wind key was? Well, you don't like it? <laughs> but, huh. So, it's kind of interesting that... I think this is... Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is one of the first in stock boards that have the removable blockers that I've seen, right? I haven't seen a board with removable blockers in stock, so it's pretty neat in my opinion. Um, it does come with a lot of foam that you can put or like different sound dampenings. So you have this one and then you also have the full one. You have this PE foam. Although I will say, um, from what I ran into, is with this one, you do have to cut this out a little bit more. Because with the 7U, it, it ends up like overlapping. Because if you see right here. And so... Yeah. So if you're going to use this one, you put this first before you put the stabilizers on, but just know that you will have to cut this part off. Um, so, I'm, so if you're watching this and you're trying to assemble your Isabel, but you're like, I'm really confused. I'm not sure like if I'm doing this correctly. I will say that um, what Father said earlier about how to assemble the case is putting the bottom case, the mid piece, and then the plate, and then the top case to kind of align everything. When you're putting in the plate or the the PCB, so you want to make sure that it slides in. So when you're putting it in, slide it in, making sure that it aligns with this hole, and then like adjust it, and then you can put it on top. And then after that's everything is aligned, you can flip it over. And when you're screwing in the screws, they are going to be. So for me, they were pretty tight. So what I did was I did uh, the two corners opposite. I screwed it in about halfway and then I did the same with these corners. And then I did these halfway and then I went back and did it all the way for the rest of them. Same order kind of. 
And the reason why you want to do that and you don't want to screw like just one corner in all the way because then it'll be like slanted. And so if you screw it in halfway, like slowly at a time, it will feel more, it'll just screw on better because it's not one side is like extremely t tilted and the other side you have to like force it down. So if you do the opposite corners halfway and then do these halfway and then do it all the way, you'll end up getting like this flush, right? So if you do have a gap, you haven't screwed it in all the way, but if you've noticed that it's like a little difficult for you to screw in, just do what I said with like doing the halfway in the corners and then it should eventually like even out like this. And it is gonna be, so for me, it was tight. So if you feel like, oh man, I'm using a lot of pressure, that's fine because you have two gaskets, right? And so it is gonna be a tight fit. At least it was for me, um, but yeah. So if you're watching this in the future and you're confused whether you're doing it right, um, just keep going. <laughs> and if you do break it, uh, disclaimer, I am not responsible. <laughs> I'm not responsible. <laughs> this is what worked for me, okay? And then if you are trying to put in the PE foam and you're like, well, it doesn't work, you do have to cut it out right here. Yeah, you do have to. But yeah, so some pros and cons about this board. Um, so one thing I really liked with this board was how accurate the, the gaskets were. The fact that I could align the gasket to the very edge and then push it down or let it lay down and it would be exactly aligned from edge to edge. I, I, I Maybe this is just me being picky, but I love that. I, I don't like when you have gaskets and you put it on the edge hoping to align it and then the other side is just like way too short, right? And then you kind of have to like finagle it. You got to take it off and then like try to recenter it. Maybe it's just one of those things that I'm picking about, but I really did like how the gaskets just don't like aligned, like pretty spot on. Um, as I said earlier, I do like the back that it's blank. Mm -hmm. Um, my, the only thing that I would say is that these screw holes are really tight. <laughs> like, I, f I felt like I was putting a lot of my, <laughs> a lot of my, like, body into, <laughs> you know, making sure that it was, like, screwed all the way. Um, I don't know if that's because of the thickness of the gaskets or if it was the screws, but, I mean, once, once you got it all on, like, it's on very securely, right? And so... I think the only thing is like, if you struggle putting the case together um, and then later on you want to remove like these blockers or if you want to change anything out, um, you do have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> so, um, but in terms of the blockers being on the top case, I don't mind the seams, right? But I could see some people saying, oh, well, I don't like seeing the seams, but if you take these blockers off, obviously you don't see the seams, but I think just having that option is really nice. Uh, the spacebar was uh, a lot different than the rest of the board, but I don't know that much about keyboard design to tell you why, but I liked it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm kind of curious to see how it sound without like the foam and the case foam, but I will say I'm not typically like a very foamy person. <laughs> I, I don't like foam, right? Um, unless like the designer designed it with it in mind, right? But yeah, those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Yeah. Oh, one thing and one other thing is that um, so there's nothing to align the metal part with other than the screws itself. So if this starts shifting, you want to use the screws to make sure they're all aligned, right? So that's the only thing. If you notice that this part's shifting while you're trying to put it together, um, what I would recommend is putting all the screws in and then that will keep it in place for you when you're screwing it in and it won't shift. Okay, well, that's it. Hope you guys like my in-depth thing. Yeah, I don't know what to call it analysis 
I don't know. <laughs> but, yes. Thank you, Frother. Thank you, Kiwi, Kispensi, a CMM for letting me build the board. Breakdown analysis. Yeah. I'm using my critical thinking skills that I learned in school to make a analysis on this keyboard.